Good evening, good morning, or good afternoon, depending on where you are. This is BSG Online number five. I will be your host for the next few games. Coming up, we've got Ranko Sukigime's Longest Day with Yorki and Rebel Dragon running Marvel Spider-Man Remastered. Up now, though, is Sindark Fates with Charlie Murder, so please take it away. I will, thank you. All right, to basically just explain what Charlie Murder is, it is a beat -em up with RPG elements and some platforming and... We are going to go to the normal difficulty, which is the lowest difficulty, and I shall just view my inventory and set up for some tricks later, and I'm going to give a countdown so we can get this show on the road. So on three, two, one, go. Two, so Best first. Best of luck. All right, thank you. All right, so the first spot we are going to is the tutorial of the game, the Netherlands, and to where basically, it doesn't matter how fast we kill these enemies, it, it's just a 30 like second segment not much we can do we just simply mess around here and but I'll explain like most things we're not gonna be really punching or kicking much in a beat em up as we have these things called anarchy which are these four things that are mapped to different buttons we have hasten which will help me move faster we have frozen vocals which we use later I'll explain the rest as will be used very shortly as right now we're simply rising up as I'll try to explain the story along the way we're rising up from the Netherlands. But actually, we were dead the entire time for the beginning of this. Those are obviously the main antagonists of the game. Another enemy band that we are going to be meeting soon in the Battle of the Bands. As obviously they have caused a zombie apocalypse also. Which is not good. But we're here to stop that. So we're going to simply use Hasten for a lot of this as we are a very slow character as characters do have different running speeds and we also are going to do some uppercuts which actually do provide a uh, faster momentum than just simply running right now we're going to a bar fight right now we do have to watch a cutscene so I'm just going to set up with some haste put myself in a very specific spot use Sarmata which is are these obviously Sauls the main thing that makes this character fast the Lich is obviously this spell called uh, uh, acid storm. Now we're gonna go over here. That's done with the fight. We're gonna throw the shotgun at this barricade as we do have something called relics which do different effects. Either just make you jump high faster or add anarchy and to where there's a specific relic that allows us to destroy barricades which we'll be using uh, for that segment. And right now we're moving to our first vehicle segment of the run. Simply put another haste as it actually does make you move faster. And right now we're simply just going to try to kill the enemies as fast as we can. As the enemies will just replace in very RNG spots as that's the whole part of it. Is there is a lot of RNG as not everything will be the same with the enemy placements and uh, interactions with them. But we're simply just try to kill these as fast as possible as we will just simply one shot all the enemies in this run. That went very well. Moving on to the highway section. Simply wait some more zombies some ninjas on bikes there we go a two cycle and here comes our first boss which is gonna be a ninja bus but we won't see him for very long and that's the first boss of the game ninja bus Alright, so our next section is going to be going through a cemetery. There's not a lot to talk about right now, simply just moving through. And uh, for cemetery, there's actually not going to be a lot of fights. We're simply just going to be blasting through a lot of this. As there are enemies, but they're not forced to kill to transition the screen. Do a very uh, optimal jump right there, as you can do it before the cutscene starts as we're going to have to avoid these ghost girls. As soon as his head pokes down, I like to run. It just provides a nice timing. I'll always get hit by one, but it's fine. It's still fast. Simply just going to keep on going on as we're nearing the end of actually the cemetery. It's not that long of a place that we stay at for very long. Keep on going. Another annoying thing that we are going to have to do a lot is activate haste. Sometimes it will transition through screens if you do do an uppercut while you're transitioning and it's also faster because sometimes your character will walk. Here comes another vehicle section. There's a glitch you can do here. If you have haste, you're actually able to get to the full right of this. 
as to where previously, if you don't have haste, after it runs out, you won't be able to actually uh, uh, go through the wall that there is as the game limits you. Right now, we're just simply going to just kill these enemies as fast as we can. And another thing, right now, after this section, this is me holding the X button, and this is me mashing it. There are only a few weapons that allow you to actually shoot faster if you mash it. Not all weapons can do it. And from our knowledge, only two characters can do this, unless there just happens to be one of them. So if we just keep on blasting this part, even though it is automated, you do have to stay here for a limited time. We'll simply just keep on killing more witches through this part. Keep on mashing X, as we're just simply just waiting for more enemies to spawn. will be the final section before the second boss of the game. You saw previously we were at a Sasquatch museum. And that's obviously what the second boss is going to be. A giant Sasquatch, but he's already gone. Sadly. And that's the second boss. We're going to be moving on to Gore Castle, which is a theme park. Sounds very wholesome. Yes. We're simply just going to barge in without a ticket. The witches are obviously going to ask for them, but we'll simply take care of them. Simply just place more acid storms down. Basically, they just spawn trap a lot of the enemies. All right. Keep on moving along. So right now, we're getting on a raft. Oops. That was my bad. There is a cutscene that you are able to watch. But we can just skip it as it's not mandatory to watch, but it basically just explains the main antagonist, Paul, and how Charlie betrayed him by making a new band without him. As that's basically his whole backstory. He's just angry that, you know, Charlie just made a famous band and he wasn't a part of it. Keep on moving along. We're about to see our only and first glitch of the run. Coming up shortly. Get rid of some enemies. There's a reason why I have frozen vocals. You see, that's a specific enemy to where um, if you do get his health bar to zero, he will fall over. But to where you need to curb stomp him to uh, like fully defeat him, or he'll just see, he'll keep on coming back up. But if you have if you have any frozen moves, then uh, it skips that whole name. That just, just skips it. Oh. We're just gonna simply keep moving along. As that's basically our only glitch for the game. Right now we're getting be moving to a reference, another technically vehicle scene. We're just using a grappling hook and a clothes hanger. And if, this is gonna be a reference to a movie called Bird Demic, as you'll see very soon. We like to call this Hawks and Hangers though, in the community. Do you uh, have your coat hanger ready? Oh obviously. As these things <laughs> can also spit acid for, at you, as all hawks do. Yeah, I mean, I learned that in biology as well. Yep, they just have a acid gland. And there is a certain amount of hawks we do have to kill. We're closing it on it, as there's basically just two cycles or two waves that come through. And we are done with that section. Simply set up the kills. Uh, these enemies will always spawn in the same spot if you do stand in that place. Keep on moving along for um, this theme part. Simply ride this lovely escalator. And right now we're on to our third boss, which also has a reference. What is a man? Here's Phantom Paul, our third boss of the game. So just like every other thing that's in our path, we'll just simply one-shot. Yep, that's the third boss. Even though you may be thinking, didn't you say he was the main antagonist and we just he's just dead right there? Well, we're going to keep on moving on and you'll see what happens. He was secretly alive. We didn't kill him. 
and we also magically just place ourselves on a trap door that he just placed there for obvious reasons and right now we are in the most platform section of the game which is the sewers this part you can fall a lot through as there are very specific jumps and there's a very your characters are very slippery especially if you're the lich and you have haste you are very slippery so you do have to pre-jump a lot of the skips that we're going to be doing. Stand on the top over here. Simply move on through. As this is also another section where we just simply go through. Even though there are a couple enemies. Like right there. Do some more jumping. Oh. There we go. Now I'm going to line myself up. As you can get through these barrels. Uh, I didn't, but it's fine. Alright, we are closing in on our fourth boss of the game after these platforms just break. And right now we're on a raft for whatever reason, it's just perfectly timed. There are some enemies here, but we're simply just going to place some acid storms. Bams or Salamatas to get to the boss fast. Hopefully we did it correctly. Yep. This is our fourth boss. And that's the end of him. Into Never mind. Simply do a thing you can do that. You can just jump off the raft a bit. It doesn't save any time. It just looks funny. Alright, now we're going to see the enemy band in their heli van as everyone just owns one these days in zombie apocalypse all right so after we kill these two ninjas here comes an auto scroller and there's not much we can do to speed it up even though i'm on the edge of the screen there's it really doesn't save any time so this would be a great spot for any uh, donations I currently don't have any donations, but I would like to remind everyone that uh, coming up in a little bit is Spider Man's uh, Marvel Spider Man Remastered, and there's currently a, a bid war for the costume choice. And currently in the lead is uh, Spider Man swinging around in his undies. So if you'd like to change that or maybe get that even further ahead, uh, you should get your donations in soon because that run will be coming up uh, right after the next one. All right, sounds good. Yes, if you want, if you wonder what my vote is, definitely Spider-Man and his undies. Alright, we're done with that auto-scroller part. Now we're on a pirate ship. Somebody's gonna keep on blasting on through. Gonna be a couple enemies, but they're not necessary to kill. And these pirates have been pirating music, which is something y'all should not do. Alright, don't pirate music. It's a crime. And we're obviously wanted to. You wouldn't steal a handbag. <laughs> oh, there's one down here. I didn't see him. That's my bad. Simply destroy these pirates who've been pirating music before we get on to our fifth boss, which is an on rail shooter, kinda. As you're wondering what are gonna be our enemies for today, some sharks. Zombie sharks, so it's fine that we're killing them. They're zombies. But somehow these zombie sharks also figured out how to you know, put bombs on themselves. I'm not sure how they figured how to do that. Very smart creatures. Simply blast on through as they do spawn in randomly. You do want to try to get this as fast as you can. As if any shark that you don't shoot, it will waste some time as the transitions between waves will be slower. We're on our fourth boss, the sea monster. He'll do two attacks, but if we just simply place the cursor over his mouth, he won't be able to arm us. We'll shoot his pimples and that's it. We're obviously heading off the pirate ship now near a beach. We're going to continue on our way to the Battle of the Bands. Simply just do some more Moving around with these uppercut movement. Before we go to a small little skip. Simply doing that, you'll save 5 seconds without having to go around and actually do the jump. We're going to do some more freeze. 
some freeze glitch over here. Let's try to get past this section as fast as we can. Nice, I predicted that he was going to be there. Normally, you, you'll, you'll usually only get one of the curb stomp enemies, but sometimes you can get like two or three. And here comes easily the worst part of the run, to where we're going to be throwing this child to grab a key for the, obviously, the fork lift. And to where um, what we're going to be doing is that it's very slow. You have to just avoid the bottles. You do lose a second every time you do grab one. And we have to do this for three cycles. And it's just a pain. We've been trying to find a way to skip this. We have not been successful with it. And I would, if there's any like more donations or anything that could be read off right now, would be also a great time. Uh, sure. <clears throat> yeah, we currently do. We have a donation. Uh, we have twenty dollars from Yorkie, saying, "Sorry, but it's got to be the Raimi suit." Oh no! So Yorkie's actually put the Raimi oh. suit ahead of the undies. So. If you want to see Spider-Man in his undies, you gotta get that. You gotta beat this twenty-dollar bid because it's far in ahead now. All right, that's obviously the end of this part. There's also another gaming reference we'll see shortly. You probably saw it while I was throwing the baby towards the bottles. And there's obviously a little pyramid head right there. And also, where do you get? Where did this baby get his license to drive that? It's not safe. Simply just destroy some more enemies before we move on. Pass by a camp. And right now we're on our way to an asylum, obviously. Why wouldn't we just go there? Ooh, that was fast. Alrighty. He's a bit slow, but it's fine. Here comes the shambling lunatic. I just did that because you, you, you can't interrupt the intro to him by uh, using any anarchy before the cutscene actually starts. We're going to do the freeze glitch on him, and that's the end of it. There's a potato here. He's also kind of a good spawn, but he can be annoying. He's just random. He'll drop you loot. He won't attack you either. Right now we're obviously heading to Asylum, because that's just the most logical thing to do. There are also going to be parts in this to where you do just move slow. We will see the cause of this later. We're just going to keep on moving along. There we go. Just more acid storm spamming. You also want to make sure none of those rats just grab onto you. They are very annoying. We're going to set up very specific placements of the acid storm as they do spawn in the same spots. Ooh, one got through, but it's fine. Do some small platforming. Set up another acid storm. This could be another wave of these. And we're on our way through this asylum. Go patch by some of the patients here. There's also a small skip. You would, need, you would need to shoot that lever, but you can simply just jump over it if you have enough uh, speed and uh, height. Simply do some more platforming through this. And also, you may be thinking, why isn't it what's supposed to happen here? Let's just see. The platform is supposed to fall, but for some reason, this is the only room to where you do have to wait a certain amount of time for that platform to fall. And here's another reference. For the movie of Saw, we are in the Venus flytrap, and we're obviously going to need escape by stabbing our eyeball out for the key. It's just a quick time event, very random, you just gotta hope for the good luck. And also you can't die, like you can you can literally just wait here for like 5 minutes and nothing will happen. You'll just, your character will just still be stabbing his eyeball out. We are done with that. And we are out of the asylum. That is the end of it. We shall be heading out here very shortly. As you can see right there, the Battle of the Bands is where we're going. We're going to make our short stop through a supermarket. Here's a meme cafe with some very old, outdated memes. Simply move on through. Oh, 
Oops, we were to see some of the workers here being munched on by other zombies. Just another day at work. Keep on moving through. And now we're in the meat section, which are going to be mandatory fights here. So we keep on setting up more acid storms. There we go, that was nice. Acid storm, then we just simply need to get rid of another wave of enemies. That was very nice. And we are out of the supermarket. Now we're just going to pass by a trucker. We're going to go on the shopping cart. And if you do hasten, this kind of does bug out the game a bit. You'll see in a bit. We just need to go down a few ramps. And obviously... Ooh, did I, I forgot to turn off that item. Oops. Alright, so there is supposed to be a truck coming after us, but since I'm kind of too fast, the screen kind of can't catch up, and the game doesn't know how to process it, but he's right there. He just blew up right now. You can see his flame trails. Now we just got to get rid of this roadie. And that's that. Now we're in a construction site. You do have to wait for him. So just go through the screen. Here's another just vehicle section, I guess. It's just going to be more quick time events. This will also be a great spot for any donations. Yeah, unfortunately we don't have anything to uh, kick the Raimi suit out. Mm. But I'd just like to uh, say... Um, we want to thank ESA for supporting the event and allowing us to stream on their channel for information about their upcoming events and any changes uh, due to the COVID-19 outbreak. Be sure to check out ESAMarathon.com as uh, they do have ESA Summer coming up in a couple of months' time. Sounds good. There's a small skip you can do instead of flipping the levers, which we're also going to do over here by doing that. Saves a good amount of time. We do have to ride this. Simply keep on moving along, moving along. Or we're getting to our, I don't remember, I think it's our sixth boss fight, I kind of lost count. The infested roadie, when he ran from us, he somehow got infested with some, something. We're gonna, he's also the only like phase boss in the game. We'll simply just do that. You do just have to punch him once. And that's the end of the infested roadie. Keep on moving along. Right now we are heading up to the mall, and this is where the run can take a very bad turn of events, to put it in good terms. As to where this is the most RNG part of the run, there's also a cool clip that we do here. So I'm going to use some props to just simply go through these barricades instead of throwing grenades. We'll simply do it for the other set of barricades over here. You can also do this for other barricades. But well, we simply do it for these two as they're kind of the slowest barricades to get rid of. And you're about to see why this part's RNG. Or maybe not. Maybe they just won't appear. Simply just hope for it. Alright, guys, that's the RNG part. We don't know what causes them to rise up, but those those enemies just simply need to be dealt with as to where they just do waste your time. On normal, it isn't that bad, but on higher difficulties like Chaos and Total Anarchy, they can be a huge problem and waste a lot of time. As the AI for this game isn't that well. Alright, so far we've only gotten one out of five. We're only gonna see one more, potentially. We'll shall see. Alright, one out of five. That's actually really good RNG. Simply do another skip as we do have jump relics that make us jump higher. We don't need to hit these levers and time it out. It's kind of like a mini puzzle. Oh, it's not very good. Keep on moving through. Also, I never explained this, but where, and if you replay a game through like normal, if you enter the portals, you won't be able to face uh, many of the bosses. As a lot of the bosses in this game 
or only one time encounters so a lot of the fights we are skipping just from that there's also other cutscenes that we are skipping but it does waste a lot of time if we were seeing those right now we're going to a club that actually uh, Charlie and the band performed at but it got burned down so we gotta go through sorry there's some spiders with very creepy faces that we're just gonna see briefly sorry if you're scared of spiders all right there we, we only had to see two so we're fine so if we keep on moving down all right Let's keep on moving along I don't know why there's like a like secret layer down here with like SWAT team members I don't, really don't know why but it just does there's also vampires here as well we just saw one of the vampire enemies as to where there is supposed to be a vampire boss at the end of this but to where since we obviously went through the portal we won't sadly be able to see him as we're simply just go through the dance floor as we are nearing the end or going to the final section of the game simply one more vehicle scene as we are going to be destroying a heli van they do spawn in randomly on the right so we're just simply just going to move up and down and just smash X got him and obviously you weren't able to see who was in the heli van but it was the main antagonist and they're just obviously we shot him down and we're actually at the battle of the bands where it's being held at and we're simply there to meet him right now after we wait for this we're also gonna just throw this broom for some weird reason you do carry the broom unlike in the first vehicle section with the broom to where you simply just dropped it simply move along this also is the part of the game to where you it does tell you how to unlock the true ending of the game we are doing the true ending as for there is a bad ending for this game but the true ending is what we do for all uh, for all the runs as we're gonna see Paul here and there's obviously gonna be a gate here and it's gonna lead to the final level HE double hockey sticks this houses some of the hardest enemies but on normal that won't be huge of a problem we're simply just gonna go through this fast as we can as there's four fights that we're gonna have to do before we get to the final boss of the game simply move along through place this as the spiders in this area like to get stuffed a lot on these walls the spider scorpions we got through that very well keep on going do some tight jumps this part we're just gonna hope that we just don't get hit and we got hit <laughs> if you do stand on this like mouth I guess these things will rise up it's just random if they hit you or not sometimes you're just able to go through perfectly without getting harmed right, that was very fast right now we're on our fourth fourth fight in HE double hockey sticks there we go now we're on to the final set of enemies we have to kill for the final boss. Alrighty, now we're moving on to the final boss. Put haste. And the final boss of the game, I'll let him introduce himself. As he is the cause for the whole thing of Paul wanting to be evil and the zombie apocalypse the angel of chaos and we're simply just gonna get rid of him in one shot hopefully you didn't get the crit you do require quit to one shot but we'll just simply do that and time I forgot to mention that oops And yep, that's the end of the game, and that's Charlie Murder. Yeah, congratulations. That was a really solid run. Uh, I, I wasn't keeping track of my time, so what is my final time? 
your final time was 29.02. All right, that's a really good time, actually. That's near uh, my, my PB. So that was a very good run, actually. So can I give shout outs and all that like right now? Because it's gonna Oh be... yeah, yeah, of course. You want to so, like, do an outro. Go I just want to give shout out to like the Charlie Murder community, the uh, the founding father of it, Mortimer Nova, and also one eight hundred poop now. I recommend you guys just look them up right now on Twitch and give them a follow. Great people, very entertaining. As obviously they started this awesome speedrun. We're also on speedrun.com if you just wanna maybe speedrun this game as we do have save files for all the categories that we do have and yep that's it I've actually just been informed you were, it wasn't quite 2902 it might have been a bit uh, no. faster than that we look we, uh, we're a bit off on the timer oh it's fine there was even faster than 2902 <laughs> <laughs> sounds good All right. Well, thank you very much for that. It was a it was a great run to watch. Well, thank you. Thank you guys for having me. We'll just transition into an ad very quick, All and right. we'll be back very shortly. <laughs>